nature. I don't know if he was confused. I don't know what happened. But it should be enough to send us a warning sign. Again, mocking Haley for crowd sizes at her rallies. Just think about that. Uh, but then he pivoted to discussing the January 6th insurrection and claimed Haley, not Pelosi, was in charge of the Capitol security that day. You know, when she comes here, she gets like nine people and the press never reports the crowds, you know. By the way, they never report the crowd on January 6th. You know, Nikki Haley, Nikki Haley, Nikki Haley, you know, they did you know they destroyed all of the information, all of the evidence, everything deleted and destroyed all of it, all of it because of lots of things like Nikki Haley is in charge of security. We offered her 10,000 people, soldiers, National Guard, so whatever they want. They turned it down. They don't want to talk about that. If you look recently, there have been multiple things. I mean, he claimed that Joe Biden was going to get us into World War Two. I'm assuming he meant World War III. He said that he ran against President Obama. He never ran against President Obama. He says that I'm the one that kept security from, Jan from the Capitol on January 6th. I was nowhere near the Capitol on January 6th. But, Margaret, you don't be surprised if you have someone that's 80 in office. Their mental stability is going to continue to decline. That's just human nature. I don't know if he was confused. I don't know what happened. But it should be enough to send us a warning sign. Okay, and as Lemire pointed out, uh, President Biden's campaign drew attention to Trump's mistake, writing on X Twitter, I don't agree with Nikki Haley on everything, but we agree on this much. She is not Nancy Pelosi. And posting this video montage. Last night, Trump is at a rally. You know, Nikki Haley, Nikki Haley, Nikki Haley. And he's going on and on mentioning me multiple times as to why I didn't handle January 6th better. Nikki Haley is in charge of security. We offered her 10,000 people. They don't want to talk about that. I wasn't in office then. They're saying he got confused. You have voter ID to buy a loaf of bread. You have, you have ID to buy a loaf of bread. What? What is? I'm driving over a road where it's almost all paper. And you know, you can see paper. I know paper. I know cans. But all the time now, we see whales washing up on shore because of the wind. Uh... Our veterans don't have cell phones, do they? He got confused. He got confused and said he was running against Obama. He never ran against Obama. And we did with Obama. We won an election that everyone said couldn't be won. Obama wants to, he doesn't want to talk about it. Well, you mean President Biden. So, uh... Don't put our country at risk like this. I'm Joe Biden, and I approve this message. <laughs> I bet you do approve that oh message. God. Oh, my God. Jonathan Lemire, but first Trump of all... Trump has stolen the he's too old concern Oh well, yeah, well, yeah, from Biden. No, he's completely, he's, com it's gone. It's gone. I mean, if they want, if they want, want if they want to bring it up that Joe Biden has a stutter that he's had since like he was uh, 14 years old, they can bring that up. Yeah. Biden campaign hopes they bring it up, but but there's so much here. By the way, voter ID to buy a loaf of bread. He repeats that three times. Says he's driving over paper, a road that's almost all paper. Nobody knows what he's talking about because he doesn't know what he's talking about because his mind sometimes just becomes mush. But um, I've got to say, uh, Jonathan Lemire, uh, that's just, again, that's just brutal. He looked lost. He looked confused. He looks, he, he just, and again, the super extreme MAGA voters, they'll stay with him. They're staying with him through praising every communist Chinese and communist North Korean dictator on the planet, they'll stay with him through an episode of, I don't know if it's early onset of dementia or exactly what it is, they'll stay with him. But swing voters, again, as we've said, as the Biden team said, as JV last said with the bulwark, the more they see this guy, the more they're gonna say, like they said in 2020, uh, no thanks. Yeah, there are a few things that are ideologically consistent about Donald Trump, but his crazy hatred of windmills and what he thinks they cause, that's, we've had that all along. And he talks about that in nonsensical fashion all the time. And this is, to your point, Joe, the, the Biden campaign has looked at this race this consistently throughout, where they understand that Donald Trump, by far, more than any other Republican, poses, in their estimation, the greatest threat to America. The stakes couldn't be higher. 
with Trump on the on the ballot. That said, it's also the race they want because they feel like, first of all, Trump's age that what we're seeing here, the increased confusion negates what could have been a pretty powerful Republican attack line against President Biden, who certainly shown no signs of confusion like that, but is someone who is over 80 years old. He can't change his birth certificate. Uh, they also think, though, that the that to your point of a moment ago, some aides told me this earlier the, or la, mid last year, that they just feel like Trump had become background noise for so many Americans. Yeah, he's in the headlines for this legal case or that, or he gave this speech or there. But outside of the diehard MAGA base and the Fox News viewers, no one's been really listening to Trump. He's just sort of been in the ether. But now that people are starting to pay attention again as the election year really ramps up, and frankly, in about 48 hours, Donald Trump might be the Republican nominee because the primary could be over, they're going to have no choice yeah. but to pay attention. And when they see Trump and they hear Trump and see not just how he's perhaps lost a few steps, but also yeah. the, how his rhetoric has gotten angrier and more dangerous, they do think that's going to turn off those independent swing voters who maybe backed him in 16, yeah. broke from him in 20, and sure wouldn't back him again in 24. And that's what's so interesting here. I know a lot of people want to see Nikki Haley and before wanted to see anybody uh, right. challenge Donald Trump. The White House is not in that group. Mm -hmm. The White House wants Donald Trump to nail this nomination process down as quickly as possible and wake up young voters, wake up black voters, wake up Hispanic voters who have gone away from them because they will say in focus groups, there's no way Democrats are going to be facing Trump. Again, the disengaged voter is like, no, 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 that guy's never going to be here again. That's not going to be our choice. So the White House has been waiting for this moment to arrive. If New Hampshire is a landslide for Trump and he nails it down, then the White House gets what they want. They get that matchup with the one guy that Joe Biden's team knows he can beat. Well, because he's done it before, so there's yeah. proof. Um, but yeah, if those who haven't been that into it, they tune in now and see Trump. He's very yeah. different, yeah, he much more, uh, even physically, seems yeah. different.